Well, hello and welcome to At Home. We're so glad that you could be with us today. Today we're going to talk about breakfast. That time of the day, you know, when you have to get up and get moving whether you want to or not. That time of the day when the alarm goes off and you say, oh, just another 10 minutes. If I could just, if I could just sleep for 10 more minutes and then 10 more minutes and then you're running around the house like a wild person trying to get out the door or get the kids off to school or whatever. Well, today, if that's the scene in your house in the early morning, we're going to do something special for the weekends because we have to redeem all those days that we didn't do this. So how about a Saturday morning? Just tell the family the night before that we're going to have a special breakfast together in the morning. And nobody's allowed to be going anywhere. You have to be at home until 10 or 11 o'clock. And then you get up in the morning and you prepare the breakfast. Now we're going to make it easy for you today. We're going to do three different kinds of muffins, okay? And um, this is not just good for your family, but this could be good for like um, during a weekday, you might want to prepare some and have a friend over. Because sometimes friends just need to talk. You just need to sit together and talk and just appreciate each other and be thankful for friendship. If you have a friend, a friend that you can say anything to in the world and she won't overreact at you or tell you that you did this wrong or did, didn't do this or whatever, and you have someone who will lend you their ear, then you have a great treasure. Friends are hard to come by, you know. Oh, a lot of people say I'm your friend. But when it gets down to where the rubber meets the road, how many friends really do you have? Sometimes you think you have friends and they act like friends. But when there comes a pressure or a time when friendship is really, really needed, you, you count on them and then you're disappointed because they're not there for you. I think probably all of us have gone through that. There's nothing that hurts so deep as the betrayal of a friend. But you know, the Bible says that there's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. And his name is Jesus. He will never betray you. He will never let you down. And he's always there. Friendship. If you've got a true friend and his name is Jesus, then you are a fortunate person and you are blessed. If God has given you a friend here on this earth that you can sit at a table, enjoy a cup of coffee and a muffin with, then you're doubly blessed. I feel honored because I have friends that I can really truly count on. God's been very good to me. Well, we're gonna get on with those muffins in just a minute. Now, take a nice deep stretch because it's morning and you're tired and Come on, we can do this. We can make these muffins. We can prepare a nice table for our family or friends. And we're gonna show you how in just a moment. Here's today's at home hint. Here's today's at home hint. For a special breakfast treat, sprinkle refrigerator biscuits with cinnamon, sugar, and butter buds and bake as usual according to package directions. Thanks, BB from North Huntington, PA. For updates, pictures, stories, and more, like us on Facebook. To watch hundreds of classic episodes, subscribe to us on YouTube. And to get hundreds of free recipes, visit ctvn.org slash at home. Well, the first muffin that we're going to be preparing for our special breakfast is a banana nut muffin. Now, what I picked up for this is, um, do you ever see these really big muffins? Aren't these neat? This is nice uh, for a He-Man size muffin. This is a, a tin that is uh, prepared special, so you don't have to, it's got that special coating, no stick coating. But I like to spray them with a little Pam anyway, just in case. Now, I'm going to... The, the recipe will make 12 regular size muffins or six of the really jumbo ones. And what you do, first of all, you take a half a cup of softened butter. We're gonna put this in our mixing bowl. And a cup of sugar. One cup of sugar. And we're gonna use the mixer because this needs to cream together until it's fluffy, light and fluffy. All right? And that shouldn't take too long. If, 
if you have your butter uh, hard, it really takes a long time for that to, to come together light and fluffy. But I think um, that you, you just need to remember, set it out the night before so it comes to room temperature, the butter, makes it easier to do. All right, now to this, I would probably let this go a little longer, but it, it'll be okay if we don't. We're gonna add our eggs, which is two eggs. And you want to beat after each egg. You don't want to just pop them both in there at the same time. You want to do them one at a time and let them blend well. There, it's all coming together now. Okay, and then we're gonna add the second egg. I'm gonna try to do this without getting shells in it because we don't want little crunchy shells in here. We want, well, like I said, I'm just gonna put this egg over here because there's shells over here where I tried to break it into. But not in the bananas, please, or in the uh, muffins that are gonna be banana nut muffins. So we've added two eggs. And now we're gonna add our bananas, which is about two to three, two large or three small bananas. And they have just been mashed with a fork on a plate. And this is pretty much how I make my banana bread. It starts out this way anyway. You can see that's nice and light and it's fluffy. Just like that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix our flour, which is uh, two cups of flour, and we're gonna add a teaspoon of salt, do this to the, the dry ingredients, a teaspoon of salt. Here's a, a teaspoon of baking powder and a half a teaspoon of baking soda, just like that. And we want to mix that together just a little bit to incorporate it. It's like we need a little bit bigger bowl here, but it will be all right. And now this is buttermilk. We have one cup of buttermilk and we're gonna add alternately the flour and the buttermilk. We're gonna add half of the flour and we're gonna mix this up just like that. Now it's gonna get thick, but then we're gonna add some of the buttermilk to it too. You say, why buttermilk? Well, buttermilk, the sourness and the thickness and it makes them richer and it, and it really does. If you're making biscuits, Buttermilk biscuits are always lighter and tastier because they taste richer than if you use just regular milk. You'll find cooks everywhere, that's what they'll do. They'll use buttermilk because it's richer. Now we're gonna add the rest of our flour. I'm gonna add some buttermilk slowly because that thickens it up too much and you get lumps. So I like to add my buttermilk as the flour is incorporating, just like that. Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna give it a good whirl to make sure that it's all totally mixed well together. Just like this. See, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? Now, you know, it's not gonna be smooth. Let me tell you that from the beginning. It will not be smooth because the bananas are in there and that's their lumps and bits of banana. And then, I don't like to use the mixer to do this, but what we need to do is stir in the nuts and the vanilla. This is the vanilla, it's just um, a teaspoon of vanilla and about half of a cup of chopped pecans. If you wanna use walnuts, you can do that. And what I'd like to do is just fold this around or stir them in. Okay, just like that. Now we're gonna fill our muffin tins, you have to have the oven preheated, get this off here, preheated to 400 degrees. Let me get some spoons here. Okay, need a bigger spoon, maybe we'll just use this one. And we're gonna fill these up pretty good. Now remember, this normally would be enough for 12 regular size ones, and you fill them two thirds full. Tell you what would even work better is a measuring cup when you have this much to do, all right? Excuse me, let me get a measuring cup. Here we go. Now this is better. See, that's what you have to adjust because sometimes you just don't know what's needful and what, what will work the best. And when you do, make the adjustments, right? All right, 
Just spoon it into about two thirds. What I try to do is go around all the cups first and then go back and fill it up if necessary. I remember one time making muffins and I had them so full that when they baked, it looked like a cake because the batter was clear across the pan. You couldn't even see where the indentations for the muffins were because it just filled over the whole pan. It was quite a mess as I remember. And um, that was one of those times when mom wasn't so thrilled that she said she would do the cleanup because it was burned everywhere, it was bad. But this will work. You may have a bit more than you, uh, if you do, if you have more batter, put them in some small muffin cups because that will be fine, no problem. And as I said, these will go into the 400 degree oven. You want to clean up the pan because boy, if that gets burning, it's not a pretty smell to wake up to on a Saturday morning, right? This goes into the preheated 400 degree oven. And they're gonna bake for about 20 to 25 minutes, okay? I'm gonna set my timer here. Now, the next one that we're going to do, this one is called um, pecan, mini pecan cakes, and they are really delicious. I mean, these are different. It's not, a, not necessarily a muffin, it's more like a cake. And uh, first of all, it has a streusel topping to it, which makes it a little bit different. We're gonna make the streusel topping. First of all, you need some uh, flour, about two thirds of a cup of flour, half a cup of firmly packed brown sugar. This is a third of a cup of chopped pecans. You could use, if, you, if you'd rather have almonds or walnuts, that's fine. One and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. And a third of a cup of chilled. This needs to be butter that is cold. Do not let it be room temperature because you're going to blend this with a pastry blender. Okay, and that's what this little thing is. And this thing works great. First of all, you mix up all of the ingredients and then you just begin, just like that, to break the butter into it because this is a streusel topping. That's what this is, okay? And we just keep working it back and forth till it gets off this. When it's cold like that, it'll hang up on this pastry blender, but that's okay, not to worry. Okay, we keep going. And this you're gonna set aside until you get the batter prepared. Okay, just like this. And you're, what you're doing is working the butter into it to make the streusel topping. Just like that. Okay, when the butter is totally incorporated, it should look like, the, like little uh, bits of coarse meal because you don't want big pieces of butter there. You want this incorporated completely. This might take you a little time, but it's worth it because your streusel topping will turn out better if you do it that way. If you say, oh, well, that's good enough, then you know what happens? You have a big chunk of butter that melts and then you have no streusel topping to it. It's just a big butter, chunk of butter. So you don't want to do that. All right, let's see. I think we're there. While I'm finishing this and preparing to make the cakes, we're gonna take a break and we'll be right back in just a minute. If you love At Home with Arlene Williams, then subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have hundreds of episodes with all your favorite recipes, holidays, and friends. Say hi to your fan club. Hi, fan club. And don't forget to click the bell so you'll never miss another episode of At Home. Well, if you've just joined us, we're making muffins today for a very special breakfast for you and your family or for you and your friends. We've made the streusel top and for our mini pecan cakes, now we're gonna make the cake part of it. And what you do here is you take two cups of flour, add it to your bowl, and some baking powder. This is two teaspoons of baking powder, and some salt, fourth of a teaspoon of salt, some ground allspice, this is unusual, um, but very potent type of spice. And you only need like an eighth of a teaspoon for that. All right, and uh, a fourth of a, of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Now if you have the fresh little, whoops, if you have the fresh little nutmeg um, nuts and a fresh grater, that's fine. Or you can buy it already ground, either way is fine. 
Let's see, what else do we have here? And we're going to put, um, I think that's all that we put into this one. All right, now we're going to mix together the sugar in another bowl, which is three fourths cup of sugar and a half a cup of melted and slightly cooled. You know why you slightly cool this? Is because we're going to add eggs to it. And if this is real hot, it'll cook your eggs and look like scrambled eggs in your muffins. Might sound good, but it's not going to taste good or look real good. So you do your butter melted and then you cool it down just like that and mix it with your sugar. Okay. Now we're going to add some vanilla. We'll add the vanilla, mix it about. Okay. And now we'll add our eggs two eggs and just mix it up real good. This is the basis for the mini pecan cakes. Just like that. And we have some milk here, three-fourths of a cup of milk. And again, you'll notice as in the other recipe, you add alternately the dry ingredients with the wet ingredients. And um, so now we're going to stir some flour. Get a better spoon than this, I'll tell you that. Need something that's going to give me some, there we go. So I add about a third of, of the dry ingredients at a time and about the same portion of milk. Then you want to stir this to blend it really well. Just like that. Okay. You don't have to wait till you have it completely stirred up because you don't have to wait that long. Then we're going to add some more flour, some more milk. Probably take a little less time, a little more time doing this if, if I weren't in a hurry to show you other things today. But you can tell when it, it's mixed well when you're making it at home. You'll know that. And it just makes a, a batter that is going to uh, have a real cake taste more than a muffin or a donut or anything like that or a bread. It's more like a cake taste because this is really kind of a cakeish batter here. And the last amount. Now what we'll do is spoon this into these cups. Now I've just paper lined some muffin cups here. If you want to use, you can just grease them the old fashioned way, that's fine. I think the cleanup's a little easier this way and I kind of like that. But what we'll do here is spoon this into the cups. This will make between 12 and 15 normal regular size muffins. And then we're going to put our streusel topping on top of it. Let me get some spoons here. I'll show you what I mean. We'll spoon them about two thirds full, just like that. Okay. And these go into a 350 degree oven and they bake for about 20 to 25 minutes because this, this is a little different. These are a little longer than the others. Um, some of them bake about 12 to 15, some bake 15 to 18. But like I said, because these are more of a cake texture and a drier texture, you're going to see that these will take a little different, a little longer baking time. Now, instead of taking the time to finish that, I'm going to show you what you do with the streusel topping. This is the topping, and once you have this made, you take a nice handful and you put it on each one and you pack it in. You'll pack it in just like that. You're going to have to clean up your pan before you put it in the oven, so don't worry about making it a mess because when that stuff bakes over, you're in trouble. <laughs> you are in trouble. The cleanup is not fun. That's why it's nice to have girls clean up like I do here at the program, because they know if there's a, a bowl in the, in the cupboard, I'll have it out and I'll have it a mess. I never rinse anything out. That would be too easy, right? Okay, so these will then go into the oven and they'll bake for, like I said, 20 to 25 minutes. The third one I want to show you is the blueberry filled one. I hope we have the time to do this. We'll talk about it if we don't. First of all, this goes in a 350 degree oven. We're going to um, beat together our butter, which is one and a half cups of butter. Just doesn't look like it's quite enough, but we'll see. All right, and um, let me see here. One and a half cups of butter. Okay, let me take, let me, let me make sure here. Beat together sugar and butter until fluffy. All right, let's do that. We'll have the recipe completed for you. Linda's telling me something different, and I really don't know which it is, to be honest with you. Okay. 
And we'll use the electric mixer to cream it. Just like that. It's really important for you to have your butter at room temperature because it does mix better. Just like that. And to this then, we're gonna add our eggs, very similar to the way we did it before. We're gonna add them one at a time. For time's sake today, I'm gonna add them all at one time. And uh, this is four eggs. Now this makes a lot. Okay. You know I always tell you to, to do them in a, a dish and not do them directly into what you're making. Well, sometimes when you're in a hurry, you just can't do that. And that's, this is one of those times. And we're making a batter. And these are gonna go into muffin cups, okay? And uh, we're gonna add the vanilla. You're gonna want to have some frozen blueberries prepared and ready, and your milk. And we're gonna add flour, baking powder, and salt to this, and some lemon zest, all right? I'm gonna talk you through it since we're running out of time. You're gonna add that together to this and you're gonna make your, your batter and you're gonna put it in your muffin cups. And then you're gonna take a spoonful of blueberries and put it on top of it. When it bakes, the, the muffin will come up over the blueberries and it will be a blueberry-filled muffin. We'll be right back to show you exactly what this is all about in just a moment. Here's how you can get today's recipes. To get all the recipes from today's show, plus hundreds of others, just click the link in the video description or visit our website, ctvn.org slash at home. Well, here we're at the table, the breakfast table, with the three kind of muffins that we've prepared for you today. We've added a nice pot of hot coffee because you couldn't have breakfast without hot coffee, right? I have a friend who whose husband prepares coffee for her and puts it in one of those thermos things so that when she gets up a little later, she has hot coffee. Now that's a, a neat guy. But anyway, we added some orange juice and some fresh fruit, maybe a little bit of preserves. And here are mini pecan cakes with a little bit of a glaze. I just added a little glaze to the top of it. Our blueberry filled muffins. Ah, and our jumbo banana nut muffins there in the front. Just a very easy, very simple, but a really nice breakfast. Wouldn't you like to wake up to it tomorrow morning? You better believe it. And you know, the ingredient that is most prevalent in all of these recipes is love. And you do that because you care about what you're doing for your family or your friends. I know that if my friend called and said, Arlene, why don't you stop by and let's have breakfast? And I walked in the door and I could smell the coffee and I could smell the muffins bacon. I would think that she thought I was really special. And you know, I think that you're really special because you join us every week. And just remember, if you've got a friend that you haven't talked to for a long time or you haven't seen for a long time, why don't you give them a call and invite them for breakfast or make this for Saturday morning for your family. Be sure to join us the next time because it just wouldn't be the same without you here at home. See you then, bye-bye. Don't forget to click the subscribe button so you'll never miss another episode of At Home. Thank you for watching. Fresh produce provided by Jordan Banana, wholesalers of fresh fruit and vegetables in Dravosburg, Pennsylvania. Appliances provided by Decor Distinctive Appliances, a reflection of your good taste. Groceries provided by Foodland, where the answer is always yes. Cornerstone Television wishes to thank all our faithful viewers whose consistent prayers and financial support have made this program possible.